Hello everyone, welcome back to a new post today. And today let's speak about the world's largest storage program in the cooperative sector that has been launched today by a cabinet decision by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Let's go into the details and look into what is this world's largest program all about and what are the features, what is the need that the government at this point of time launched the world's largest storage program in the cooperative sector. So in the recent times, India's agriculture performance has been very good. We have gone from a surplus from a deficit food deficit country to a food grain surplus country we have had a very good agriculture harvest over some point, period of time that's thanks to the monsoons and also the farmer friendly policies of the government of india but then with the surplus and also a good harvest and the problem uh, we face we started to face the problem of plenty where the government was facing the problem of a lot of wastage because there was more of surplus production but not sufficient storage available to store these food grains and it is at this point and at various points of time this issue was addressed not only this was brought to the fore not only by the supreme court of india but also various opposition parties have spoken about it and also there have been distressed sales by the farmers who sold the food grains because there was lack of storage of warehouse capacity to store these food grains and then later sell it for a better price. So this, uh, this storage uh, or warehousing capacity is one of the most important components for the food security of the country as well and also for the performance of various food processing sectors. So the harvest, not only the harvest but also the storage capability of these food grains, vegetables, fruits, dairy products, meat etc. goes on to determine the performance of the food processing sector of the country as well. As I told you, food storage is one of the most important component for food security. But what exactly is food security? Now, based on the 1996 World Food Summit, food security is defined when all the people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their dietary needs and also the, the food preferences for an active, active and a daily life. Apart from this, the food security situation achieves help uh, helps to achieve various sustainable development goals like goal number one no poverty uh, goal number two no, zero hunger goal number three that is good health and well-being so food security ensures good health and well-being goal number four quality education good nutritious food is requirement for quality education as well goal number five gender equality and after uh, goal number ten reduce inequality so food security goes on to help the government to achieve various sustainable development goals as well so as i told in the beginning itself that there has been losses in the agriculture Culture sector let's have a quick review of the details regarding the losses so in grains the loss usually observed is 4.6 to 6 percent of the cereals per year and the food uh, fruits and vegetables which are perishable 4.6 to 15.9 percent in the dairy sector you have 0.9 percent meat is 2.7 percent poultry 7.2 percent for eggs and 6.7 percent for meat Fish goes on to be 5.2% of if it is wasted with regard to inland fishing and 10.5% with regard to marine fishing. Fishing Also, if you see that the food surplus states in the country, that is the agriculture-based states, have more of surplus production but they lag behind with regard to storage capacity. For example, if you take Punjab, now the storage capacity is just 12.3 met million metric tons but the stock holding is 12.9%. In Haryana, the storage capacity is 6.1 million metric tons, but the stock held is 5.8%. In Northern Zone, it is 26% of storage, 26.7 million metric ton of storage capacity, but the stock held is 23.4%. So therefore, the storage capacity if you look at if you look at the uh, storage capacity is really less compared to the food grains that are available with the states and many a times these food grains have also rotten they have uh, they have been affected by floods etc improper storage capacities have also affected they have not been distributed to the needy and many a times this issue has been brought up by the supreme court as well but today to deal with all of this and to bring out the world's largest food storage program 
program uh, in the cooperative sector the cabinet has um, uh, approved the constitution of an inter ministerial committee for facilitating the world's largest grain storage plan in the cooperative sector by converging various schemes now this inter ministerial committee will be constituted under the chairmanship of amit shah and they will have the agriculture minister the consumer affairs minister food processing industries and the concerned secretaries as well so what exactly is the plan now according to this multi pronged plan the program aims to address not only the shortage of agriculture storage infrastructure or warehouse in the country by facilitating the establishment of go downs at the level of the primary agriculture credit societies but also would enable these pacs to undertake various other activities like functioning procuring uh, functioning of procurement centers for the state agencies serving as fair sh uh, price shops and custom hiring centers this all will help in the uh, in the one uh, there is a program which is uh, being implemented to provide food access from any fair price shop in the country to any person which has a ration card so it's going to one ration one uh, uh, one uh, shop uh, uh, program so it is uh, this program is going to be benefited because of this and the scheme has identified as i told you that there is a lot of convergence under this plan for example uh, in ministry of agriculture the schemes that will be converged are the agriculture infrastructure fund agriculture marketing infrastructure scheme mission for integrated development of horticulture and the submission on agriculture mechanization as well the schemes identified under the ministry of food processing and industries are pradhan mantri formalized of micro food processing enterprise scheme and the pradhan mantri kisan sampada yojana under the ministry of consumer affairs and food and public distribution the programs for allocation of food grains under the national food security act and the procurement operations at the minimum support price have been identified so what exactly are the aims of this project which is touted to be the world's largest food storage product uh, project at the cooperative level number 1 is to increase the grain storage capacity in the cooperative sector so in the next 5 years the storage will expand phenomenally to about 2150 lakh ton presently the grain storage is 1450 lakh ton this will increase to 2150 lakh ton meaning there will be an increase of 700 lakh ton capacity and this will come up to 2000 ton in each block the storage capacity number 2 it will prevent distress sale by the farmers Uh, because the farmers go on to sell their products at a very very throw away price or a cheap price because they do not have accessible storage uh, capacity or warehouses to in their area and that is why they don't have the 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 option of storing the food grain and then selling it in the next season Number 3 is enhancing food security. Number 4 it aims to reduce the damage to food grains due to lack of storage capacity. So many of the food grains the sacks are kept outside they dry they are uh, they uh, they are affected by rainfall like drizzle etc and also sometimes when it is very very cold also moisture uh, gets into the uh, the sacks affecting the grain and also rottening happens. So checking distress sale by the farmers number Five is reducing dependence on imports. Though India is self-sufficient in many of the food grains, but still we import many of the pulses and oil seeds as well. So this will reduce a lot of imports and will save a lot of foreign exchange. This will also lead to reduction in the prices when the grains are grown at home. Number six, they will create employment opportunities in rural areas, not only for construction of these warehouses, but also employment in these warehouses to handle the food grains. Number seven, it will increase the number of go downs that will reduce the transportation costs from the areas of production to the areas of supply. Beside number eight, it will strengthen. food security at present india can store only 47% of around 3100 lakh tons of food grain it produces annually of the existing capacity the food cooperation of india has depots with capacity of around 800 lakh metric tons while the rest is with the state agencies and the private players the food cooperation of india has enhanced its storage capacity from 6 lakh metric tons in 1985 to the said of uh, to the said figure of 
800 lakh metric tons. Therefore, the world's largest grain storage program is being implemented in the cooperative sector now by the government of India today with the cabinet decision to deal with all the above challenges. And this, as I told you, will be done by the convergence of schemes by under three, four ministries, that uh, three ministries, that is the Ministry of Agriculture, number one, number two is Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, and number three is Ministry of Food Processing Industries. The Ministry of Cooperation will implement this pilot project in at least 10 selected districts to start off at different states and duties and this will ensure a time bound and a uniform implementation of the program in a professional manner all throughout the country. This pilot project will therefore provide valuable insights to the government in different regional, what are the different regional requirements in the beginning when they start off with 10 districts uh, with regard to the project and these learnings then will be suitably incorporated country wide for implementing the plan. Apart from this, the cabinet also took the decision uh, today to give its nod to city investments to innovate, integrate and sustain 2.0 for integrated urban development. So something regarding to urban development, it is called as Cities 2.0 and this is a program conceived by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in partnership with the French Development Agency. So the French is involved in this program and also the National Institute of Urban Affairs as well. This program will run for four years from 2023 till 2027. The program envisages support competitively to select projects uh, promoting circular economy in the urban areas. Mainly, it will focus on integrated waste management at the city level, climate oriented reforms actions at the state level, and institutional strengthening and knowledge dissemination at the national level. But the most important news is now, this time, it will save the world's largest storage program in the cooperative sector will help the farmers from distress sale they will be able to get their prices for the food grains they will be able to store the surplus and then sell it back in the next season it is going to be a big big boost to the food processing sector and also will reduce a lot of dependence on imports so the grains uh, like all seeds pulses which india still imports further india can develop it improve its the agriculture and the production in this sector because they will support this will be supported by the storage godowns that the, we already have and which will be developed in a time-bound manner under this program by convergence of the three ministries. Therefore, a big boost to food security and mainly, mainly a help to the farmers who get very less price because of lack of storage facilities through distress sales. I hope this information was really helpful to you all with regard to the world's largest food storage program in the cooperative sector. And if you did like, please do like, share and subscribe. And until then, it's very happy learning.